please make sure that you're performing any synthetic or load tests against a website you have control over. I'm using commit quality because this is mine, but please don't use this one because it won't handle the load. Make sure you have authorization for whatever you're testing when you're looking to perform this kind of load and performance testing. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hello. This is Jared from Commit to Quality. In today's video, we've got a quick one about reporting with Artillery and Playwright. This applies to just Artillery, but because we're using Playwright, I've bulked it in with this. This should be a nice quick video, but if you've been following my series so far, you've noticed at the moment when we've run everything, so let's just run this script, which is a login to our page. I've also kept the code in from the previous video, which doesn't really do anything, so we can probably remove that. But let's just run this now. But all our reporting at the moment, we've been looking inside this terminal. So um, it's not really pretty on the eyes. It's quite nicely laid out, but we can generate a HTML report, which is going to be a lot cleaner than this. And that's what I want to show you today. So let's just clear this down. And what we can do is we don't need to change anything with the code, nothing with the setup. We just need to run some bits extra in the terminal. So what I'm going to say is artillery run artillery YAML, but then I'm going to pass through an argument that says output result dot json and this can be whatever you want you can name this you know commit quality subscribe to my channel dot json anything this is just going to output a json file for us so if i hit enter on here it's going to run everything like it would but now what we should see is on the side here we can have a new file called results dot json generated after the test has run. So here we are, we've got results.json. And we've got this nice JSON format now where we can look through. It's all exactly the same. So if I was to just search for this, you can see users commit quality subscribe there. If I go down to the bottom, that's what matches up with this one where we've got 15 and we've got all the rest of like HTTP requests and everything else. Now this is a little bit prettier, or you might not think it isn't, but this isn't what I want to show. Once you've generated your JSON, Artillery actually have a command called report, which will basically generate a HTML report based off this JSON. So I can say Artillery, and instead of run now, we're going to say report, and you can see it there, we've got results.json. Now hit enter, and we'll see there's a nice HTML file that's been generated based off this result.json. So if I was to reveal this in File Explorer and we open it in Chrome, now then, we've got this lovely report, which is a lot easier to see. You can see the duration of how everything took, when it started, completed, if we had any errors. You've got a bunch of the metrics here. You can filter them by browser metrics. You can search for user metrics and it'll scroll down. But look at the tables we've got now, which in my opinion is much neater than anything else. Of course, we didn't have much going on, like we're searching for subscribe, but all this done was a console.log, so you're not really expecting anything here. But if we go to browser, brow if we go to browser metrics, you can see you've got like the log in here. You've got you've got the um, FCP for commit quality. So it's just a lot nicer to see. You can still filter over to your JSON output as well, which is output in a nice little window, nice color coded as well. So if you have like a dull visual studio code like me, you might find this a lot better. Custom metrics obviously get logged out as well. So um, can I search for login? There we are, we've got the browser step here, which was our custom step we added in. Of course, that would be in the report as well. So you can have a little look through and see how it goes. So if you're adding extra login, like we showed in previous videos, then that will also appear here. If you if you turn if you turn your report on to report on, on extra metrics, that will all be output here. Definitely something I wanted to show. One thing that is worth noting though, is if I go to artillery, which I should have a page somewhere, you are, and I can put this in the documentation. It's worth noting that it states here that this command, the report command, is going to be deprecated in the next major release of Artillery. And they then are going to recommend using the dashboard for, visu for visualizing and analyzing any artillery report. So you can click into this. And I've not um, been part of the dashboard. I've not used the dashboard or anything on this. But as soon as this has been decommissioned, I'll be looking into creating a video on this, which, once again, you can see here is showing more things. It's got a bit more going on with this. So just bear in mind that this video will get out of date and we'll be replacing with the dashboard but i could not show you because that's that reporting is what i've been using time and time again as always if you do have any questions or comments please drop them down below a like and subscribe is appreciated i've also enabled super thanks if you want to support the running of my channel on my website as always have a great day thank you for watching